scary moments. The car just ran into him, ran through the light, green light, and kept going. For two people already having a tough time. They just left the hospital for doing chemo, you know, so I'm glad we got another car. A little after 11 a.m., this car was hit and thrown into a fence as a police chase sped past the corner of 30th and Muhammad Ali. Disoriented, the driver called his family. It took me about five minutes. Yeah, me too. Who rushed to the scene. They then watched as the pair was taken to the hospital for treatment. Officers had first spotted the vehicle while on patrol in the area of 30th and Ali. When the driver refused to stop, they started chasing him. That chase stretched from West Louisville to downtown. He was on Broadway, he was flying, probably about 100 miles per hour. The truck eventually crashed into a pole at First and Broadway. Witnesses say the driver jumped out and ran. We're not knowing the area too well. He got to the Hotel Louisville, you know what I'm saying, got kind of trapped in and then swarmed by the officers. He was arrested and put in the back of a police cruiser. Since LMPD started its temporary pursuit policy in July, 17 of 18 authorized pursuits resulted in 31 arrests. Data also shows the number of stolen vehicles, homicides, and wanton endangerment incidents dropped during that same time. Still, the family of those two innocent bystanders at 30th and Ali say... My husband, he's an older guy, you know, and he's fragile. They worry about public safety of a different kind. He said she just hurt in her back and a little bit in her neck. 